Hello, it's Teresa with High Mesa Standards out here on this beautiful evening in Western Colorado with my little puppy Huron slash Obi. And Huron is going to be going to his home in another three weeks or so, four weeks and four weeks. And so we are going to just do some ongoing education with him, which means he gets to walk on a leash um, quite a bit. We're walking faster than normal and we're expecting him to stay on our left side. So this is like graduated walking. He's still not real balanced. As you can see, he's walking in front of me, walking beside me, but I'm just kind of guiding him away from my front end because I don't want him to trip me. And, but look how happy he is to be walking. And he also is responding to the touch of the leash very easily. I can mostly leave it loose, except when he starts trying to cross my path and we don't want him to do that because we don't want either one of us get hurt. We want him to learn to be balanced in his walking. Um, and we also want him to learn to stay on the left side instead of cross back and forth like, a, um, like walking a moth like we used to. Um, so I am just working on him staying on this side for now. And um, if I was training him for somebody who had a disability on the left side, of course, we would use the right side. But the universal walking side, healing side is on the left. If there isn't something that keeps you from, inhibits you from being able to use the left side. So that's why we do that. Or that's why I do that. Not sure everybody does. But I'm old school, so... Um, Huron, or Obi, as we are calling him now, um, he is working out extremely well. Um, he is still very big. Uh, and I checked his records today, and he was um, the biggest one we've ever had at this age. Everybody else was a pound under him. Those puppies have gone on to be... I think one told me the last she weighed the biggest puppy was 65 pounds, but she said that he had just recently gone through a growth spurt and she's thinking that he might even be upwards of 70 now. So um, that wasn't my intentions, but occasionally you'll get one that, or two or three that gets really giant. And in this case, Obi is our giant. Right, O? Hey, right? <laughs> Can you sit, please? it hey <laughs> sometimes they don't mind you know sit come on sit there good job nope he's like i want to i want to walk sit please i'm gonna make him sit because he's not doing it good job stay i'm just gonna stay here for a minute because he disobeyed me good job and then we're going to reinforce the sit and then let's go let's go we're gonna go down the street and I am walking out quite a bit faster than I did when they were learning. He can handle it. And he also has his second vaccine under him, so I can take him just a little bit farther than I normally do. I'm not too worried about um, any kind of diseases that he might encounter. We don't really have a lot of dogs in this area, so um, the ones that we do have I know pretty well. So. There's Obi. I'm going to sign off so that I can really do some hands-on training with him and pay attention to him. But he is doing exceptional in his walking and I'm very proud of him. And I'm very happy that he's going to a really wonderful home. So, there you go. Blessings.